think what's really different about how students are learning today is really the kinds of tools that they have to pursue learning in a lot of different forms. And by that I mean learning um, both informally, so pursuing in a kind of a low risk, low stakes environment, um, how to learn how to play the guitar, how to knit a sweater, um, how to um, hack your favorite game. Um, but also they have a lot of tools that they are comfortable with in the home environment that they can then, are, we're just now starting to bring into the school environment. There's a lot of potential possible changes on the horizon. It's, uh, you know, one thing I've learned in my job over the years is never prognosticate when it comes to technology because you'll be wrong. Um, but certainly I think the move towards um, integrating online um, online tools, online content into the classroom by flipping the classroom. That's something that I know people are starting to experiment with both in the K-12 as well as in the higher education space. Um, I think certainly um, figuring out how to harness the devices that students already use um, is something that I think will be really quite different in the future in the classroom. Um, but right now, I think it's important to remember that students don't always use technology in particularly radical ways in your typical American high school. They use it, but it's not, it's not anything that would be particularly surprising to people who care a lot about technology and are really interested in it. Institutions like Dartmouth have big challenges ahead of them. I mean, certainly today's teachers tell us that the distraction component of technology use is big and real, and figuring out how to manage that um, in the classroom setting is, is, I think, a challenge that's ahead. Um, some of that can be done by putting things like lectures and more sort of boring content delivery is something that you do on the side, perhaps through video, and bringing engaging tasks into the classroom, whether that's peer or collaborative learning. Um, I, I think that by universities really thinking broadly about how to inc include and creatively about how to include technology um, into the classroom, that's what's going to carry you into the 21st century. And certainly Dartmouth is well positioned um, as it moves forward. It's have doing a strategic plan which already says it's thinking about how it wants to be in the future in really critical ways. Um, and also Dartmouth is an elite um, institution that has a really strong sense of place and I think um, that's something to build on um, and add technology into that as opposed to trying to radically change that base model that you have.